welcome to this edition of Sports 360. I'm Sam Weiss. Fall sports have come to an end, but let's dive right into the pool. The swim team traveled to Dreer for their last match of the regular season. Hurricane Ian impacted the state qualifiers, effectively canceling the match, meaning no Cavs qualified for state this year. I think it's been really good. Um, we've had some really good meets. Everyone's pretty much shaved off time in each of their meets. Um, I know I've had one swimmer that shaved off like a whole 17 seconds, so. Heading to the court, the volleyball team traveled to Westwood for their last match of the season on October 13th. The Cavs fell to the Red Hawks with a final score of 3-0. Their final record is 3-15. After a strong playoff run to the semifinals last spring, the boys' volleyball season was moved down to the fall. The Cavs finished the year with a 4-5 record in just their second season. <laughs> Heading outside, the cross-country team traveled to Westwood and participated in the Region 5 4A meet on Wednesday, October 26. Dee Famude and Jackson Batet finished in the top 15 for the boys, running just over 18 minutes. Eighth grader Danny Vandenberg finished 21st for the girls. They'll compete in the state qualifiers next Saturday, November 5th. I felt it went pretty good. Um, it got a season best, so I'm pretty happy with that, especially because it's the last race of the year. Um, I tried to leave it all out there, and I think I did, so I'm pretty happy with my performance. Moving on to the field, the football team hosted Irmo on Thursday, September 30th, after the game was moved due to Hurricane Ian. The Yellow Jackets started out strong, running in two touchdowns by the middle of the second quarter. Quarterback Will Wilson ran in for a touchdown, bringing the Cavs within one score before halftime. The Cavs defense held strong, shutting down the Irmo offense and forcing multiple turnovers in the second half. Wide receiver Zachary Watkins caught a touchdown pass from Will Wilson, tying up the game, entering the fourth. Wilson sealed the deal with a 50-yard touchdown run, finishing off the number two seed Yellow Jackets with a final score of 20 to 14. Well, that's up this edition of Sports 360. Remember to follow at Catflex on Twitter for the latest updates and scores. Reporting for RNDTV, I'm Sam Weiss.